as the ice chokes our planet. It is a disaster for the majority of living things. Under ice, the ocean is mostly cut off from the atmosphere. Darkness closes in. And the flow of nutrients from the land slows to a trickle. Under this pressure, ecosystems begin to fall apart. Imprisoned by the ice, the predecessors of all animal life falter. And many die. It's easy to imagine how this could have ended all complex life on Earth. We know that life must have survived through Snowball Earth because we still have a lot of life in the Earth today. We had life before and after, so somehow it must have survived. But it's hard to prove where, as all the ice from back then is melted. To understand how life survived in ice in the past, then we look to how life survives in ice today. And there is one habitat that snowball earth scientists are particularly interested in, so we're going to see if we can try and find that today. There is more to this frigid landscape than meets the eye. What I found here is a hole in the glacier surface. We refer to this as a cryoconite hole. Sediment lands on the glacier surface, swept in by water and by wind. Then the radiation from the sun warms it and it melts the underlying ice. So it melts almost vertically down to make this pocket that we see here with melt water at the bottom and open at the top. Look hard enough in the right places, and you'll find these on glacial surfaces everywhere. The cryoconite holes are perfect for microorganisms because they have access to the sun and they have access to melt water. That makes these holes refuges for a variety of life. I'm going to try and sample this cryoconite hole. I'm seeing some bits are a little bit green, so they might be bits of photosynthetic microorganisms or they might be bits of plants. Other samples have revealed even more life. A huge range of organisms from fungi to microanimals. This captures the diversity of the organisms living in cryoconite hole, not just in species, but in size and shape and function. It's surprising and it's quite magnificent that these quite empty looking spots can have this much diversity. Even when life like this is subjected to harsh snowball earth conditions, it survives. For us as humans, snowball earth will always seem like a harsh, almost impossible planet to live on. However, when we look at the depths of Antarctica and the middle of ice sheets in the Arctic, there is life wherever you look for it. And it's not just cryoconites. There's various different places eukaryotic life may have survived on Snowball Earth. It could have been in little glacial ponds or lakes, uh, hot springs, which surely would have been around then as they are today. Some may have survived deep underground in subterranean caves where there's water and temperatures are higher. And then, of course, the oceans 